Thank you for purchasing a Clearview screen protector. This installation video is meant to guide you through the installation process. Now before we get started, let's review some tips and notes on the installation. Tips for a smooth installation. Number one, turn off your phone. Number two, have the required tools on hand, that being a USB power source, a pair of scissors, wax paper, and scotch tape. Be patient with the installation. Most users, on average, take about 10 to 15 minutes to install the screen protector. Have a clean and level area to work with. We recommend the Bubble Level app from the Google Play Store. Do not install the screen protector in direct sunlight. If the included stickers are not adhering well to the phone, you can use scotch tape or any other household office tape. When applying the adhesive to the screen, be sure to touch the tip of the tube onto the screen. If you're using this screen protector with a case, check the fitment before installation. Allow time for the adhesive to spread. Be sure not to press on the screen protector to force the liquid to spread. If using a case, consider curing the screen protector for longer. For a bubble-free installation, considering the following notes, oil and residue. It is very important to thoroughly clean the phone screen before installation. Any oils, such as from the fingers or the face, may cause the liquid adhesive to flow around that area, thus causing air gaps. Just like oil and water do not mix, our liquid adhesive and oil do not mix. Liquid Adhesion Application When applying liquid adhesive, it is necessary that the tip of the tube touches the screen. Then untwist the end cap to allow the liquid to flow directly onto the screen. If the liquid is poured from above, the liquid may splatter, thus introducing air bubbles. Lastly, screen protector placement. Placing the screen protector at an angle forces air out during the installation process rather than trapping it. First place the bottom of the screen protector to the bottom of the screen. Then allow the top of the screen protector to rest on the installation pin. If the liquid hasn't touched the screen protector, press down on the bottom of the installation tray, thus tilting the phone and allowing the liquid to meet the screen protector at the middle of the screen. Once the liquid and screen protector meet, remove the installation pin and return the phone to the level position. Allow the liquid to spread undisturbed. Now, let's get started. Again, make sure the work area is level. You can use the Bubble Level app found in the Google Play Store to verify this. Let's verify the contents of the screen protector kit. You'll find a screen protector, an installation tray, a tube of liquid adhesive, the UV light and USB cable, a drying cloth, speaker and masking stickers, a dust absorption sticker, alcohol wipes, absorption pads, a repair card, and installation pin. Now is also a good time to test the UV light. If you haven't already done so, turn off your device. Use the included alcohol wipe to clean the screen and the buttons and around the ports. Then use a drying cloth to dry the screen. Now apply the speaker sticker to the phone. Afterwards, apply the speaker sticker to the speaker at the bottom of the phone. Apply the masking stickers to the buttons on the left and the right side of the phone. If they aren't sticking well, you can use scotch tape instead. Also consider covering the headphone jack at the bottom of the phone.
securely insert the phone into the installation tray. Make note that there is a top and bottom to the installation tray. The top has a slit in it for the installation pin. You should hear audible click when you install the installation tray on the phone, and it should be snug. Turn over the phone and wedge the absorption pads on the left and right side of the phone. Now, flip the phone back over. Let's give the screen another cleaning with the alcohol wipe and dry with the drying cloth. When you are satisfied that there is no residue on the screen, use a dust absorption sticker to remove any remaining particles or residue. Lastly, insert the installation pin at the top of the phone. Remove the top cap of the liquid adhesive tube. Using a pair of scissors, cut the tip off the tube. The proper area to apply the liquid adhesive is at the top third of the phone. Do not apply the adhesive in the middle of the phone. Now turn over the liquid adhesive tube. You'll notice that there is no liquid coming out. Go ahead and touch the tube to the screen in the proper area. Untwist the bottom cap and the liquid will pour onto the screen. Note that the tip of the tube should be touching the screen as the liquid evacuates from the tube. If you pour the liquid adhesive, rather than allowing the tip of the tube to touch the screen, you may get air bubbles. Once all the liquid adhesive evacuates from the tube, go ahead and replace the tips. You can see that the adhesive is very easy to work with in its liquid form. You can center it as needed. Visually inspect that there are no bubbles in the liquid adhesive. If there are, you can use the repair card to fish them out. Remove the protective film from the bottom of the screen protector. Make sure you do not touch the bottom of the screen protector. Once again, it is very important that the liquid adhesive remains in the top third of the phone. It is very important that the screen protector is placed at an angle onto the phone and allowing the top to rest on the installation pin. At this point, the liquid adhesive may or may not touch the screen protector. If the liquid touches the screen protector, then slowly tilt the installation tray and phone until the liquid moves to the middle of the phone. Then remove the installation pin and return the phone back to a level position. In the case of the liquid adhesive not touching the screen protector, tilt the phone downwards by pressing on the bottom of the installation tray, thus tilting it until the liquid adhesive meets the screen protector. Then remove the installation pin and return the phone back to a level position. Allow up to four minutes for the liquid adhesive to spread across the screen. It is important not to press on the screen protector to force the liquid to spread. This will cause air bubbles. Once a liquid adhesive has spread throughout the entire screen protector, you can use a repair card to nudge and center the screen protector. Without touching the phone, place the UV light at the top third of the phone. Turn it on for 15 seconds. Turn off the UV light and move it to the bottom third of the phone. Turn it on for 15 seconds. Lastly, move the UV light to the middle of the phone and cure for another 15 seconds. Go ahead and push out the phone from the installation tray. We're going to do a final curing of the liquid adhesive. Starting at the top third of the phone, turn on the UV light for 45 seconds. Move the UV light to the bottom third of the phone and turn on the UV light for 45 seconds. Lastly, move the UV light to the middle of the phone and cure for 45 seconds.
remove all the stickers and use the last alcohol wipe to clean the phone and dry with the drying cloth. Congratulations on a successful installation of the Clearview screen protector.